people are interested in finding out the truth about everything. And they imagine that there is only one truth. They cannot comprehend that this world has many lies, but not one single way or one single truth. So what I'm trying to say is that there are many truths. For some people to find your God, that is the truth. And for some others to become God is the truth. And so one cannot go and say, well, that is not the truth. Because one does not say the truth when that statement is said. We are being told the stories every day. The stories of what people believe as truth, his story or history, always reads the same way. Christophilus Columbus was almost killed by his fellow um, shipmates when finally almost out of food and disheartened there was somebody who yelled land land right we know the story it's always the same story they were about to fail but for one miraculous reason they found the way because these are made up stories the same thing with Elon Musk, Bill Gates, uh, the guy from Facebook. All of this, they're fake stories. To better understand who we are, we have to look at our fellow animals. You see, we've been told that we are not animals. We are different. We are superior to them. And that is where the problem begins. We have believed that because most of us don't have the intelligence to realize that we are all connected, that we are all one in reality. So if a bull is running towards the cliff, the rest of the herd will follow. We know that. Pigs do the same thing. The masses follow the leaders, even if it's heading the wrong way. We like to think we're not like that, but unfortunately we are also. So what the most intelligent of our societies, of our so-called human race, if you can call it that, because every day that goes by, I, I subscribe to the idea that there are not only the humans of the Asian race, of the white race, of the black race, but there are also some other kinds that they have been very um, successful at hiding. <clears throat> and uh, that's why they have networks, institutions that are in every land called churches. See, people think churches are because you have to go and find your God. No. Churches are institutions that are not real. You will never find God in a church. Never. <coughs> the truth is you would have to look within, but 
majority of people don't like to look within. They like to look outside, without, right? They like to believe that they are not worthy, that they are sinners, that they are filthy. They like to believe everything. That they're just non-significant, right? Well, co coincidentally, the stories that we are told, every story that we see on TV or that we read in a book talks about how the hero was unworthy. The hero doubted himself or herself. And uh, it was poor, it was suffering, it was treated badly by the other fellow characters. And then you say, yeah, but those are stories and we are in real life. And yet we hear terms like saying, what do you think, Sam, about her performance? She doesn't seem to be performing very well lately. As if they are talking about a live performance, a recorded performance, a play. Ah, interesting, huh? How the language lends itself to that. Or perhaps there's a message there. Then some people believe that they want to follow the scripture. Coincidentally, people say, script, scripture, script is what the actors read. The scripture is what a lot of people follow. I follow the book, people say. Interesting. Then we read in the script or scriptures that without blood, there is no atonement. That's very interesting. And then we hear about how people care about their blood. Like the royals cannot marry outside of their royal blood. It's a, there's a, an emphasis put on the blood. And then we come down to the rich being rich because of their blood whatever that means right then some people say that well she belongs to the party scene she's in the party scene the scene which scene is that oh, it's a performance it's a play now she acts like nothing happened So, there's not one truth. No, the Jehovah Witnesses are not the only way and the only truth. But for some, that is the truth. For some, the Catholics. For some, the Muslims. For others, not believing in God at all is the truth. Not having power. Just believing in the religion made up by these beings called science where two plus two must equal four and when observing an experiment you are not able to change anything because just the laws of the universe will dictate the outcome but we know that you as the observer have the power to change that you as the writer can write things up literally write them and correct them you as the author can be the authority and change the story a few days ago i shed blood on the cross the red cross yeah they call it the blood donation right 
and I had one intention. My intention was for everyone in the herd to realize certain truths that the government has been lying to us. Govern means govern and meant is mind, right? They are governing, they are manipulating your mind. I had the intention that the masses can see the churches are empty. There is no God in there. But maybe people are to look within themselves and find those truths. Of course, some people are not ready to handle the truth. And that's okay. But I, my intention was for those who are ready to be able to see their truth. Then I came across this map put together by Olav Magnus. And this map, there was, it was about a report of a certain land found to the north, past the ice. Right here. More land and the magnetic pole. This is not the story we've been told. We've been told that there is only ice in the North Pole area. Well, then there is a man, Haley. I think his name was Edmund Haley, a scientist. He had theorized that at the pole there is a hall and an entrance into the into another world. But nobody wants to consider this because the governments are not talking about this. We, on the other hand, the ones that are ready to see another truth or to dispel another lie, we can say, then we can look into. Because we're not afraid of what the masses believe of our censorship of thinking. What interested me about this whole story is that there was a book, um, I think it was called Invencio Fortunato. Here's an excerpt from Wikipedia about the Invencio. The book is supposed to be a travelogue written by a Franciscan friar from Oxford in the 1360s. This was, uh, um, he's had to do something with the King of England and uh, describe what the Francis Franciscan friar found, the islands beyond the 54 degrees, um, which he presented to the king. And um, for some reason the book uh, went missing and then there was a man, uh, <clears throat> his uh, name was Noyen, and uh, well, you can read for yourself about this. The interesting thing is that this information came to the king of Norway. Now imagine in the 1360s, 1400s, why would it be given to Norway, a country that is so cold, probably doesn't even have enough food for its people, supposedly dying of hunger? Or is there something else? You see, I, I tend to think there's something else here. It is not the countries that have abundance of food, but it is the countries that have abundance of power those who have understood how to control this world. So I'm inviting you, research, blood over intent, and stop being a follower, and 
start being a leader.